still in love with you, boy. That has been in my spirit, Aquarius. Some of y'all could be set, be seeing 717, okay? I've seen it too many times today. 717, fortune is on your side. The angels have a gift to give you 717. But this reading is, hopefully it's going to give you clarity. So when I was um, meditating off camera, Aquarius, what I got for you was that, um, you know, I went into meditation with a question. Should Aquarius be focused on the old love or the new love? And what they showed me was this lady, like in a convenience store, and she just kept turning her head. She would turn it forward and she would turn it backward. She would turn it forward and she would turn it backward. So it's like, you guys are undecided if you want what's before you or what you want behind you. You're undecided also because this person keeps holding on to you. And maybe even you're holding on to hope. So what I also got was that in this reading, you're gonna give Aquarius some clarity. So hopefully I give you the clarity that you need in regards to maybe moving on. And then when I started to do the reading, all of the cards are face down, shuffled, ready, ready for us to take off, right? This card was not, it was by itself. And this card is the boat card. It talks about receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So I think for some of you, if not all of you, you need to close something out. You know, you need to move on. Even though somebody's still holding on to you, you need to move on. So what we're gonna do is put this card back in the deck. If it comes out again, then we know it's significant. Um, let's talk about uh, this looking back and looking forward. Looking back and looking forward. Why is Aquarius, okay, sorry, sorry, thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's get into it. Why is the Aquarius looking backward, looking forward, looking all around, looking, looking, looking? The nine of pentacles, because you're, you're by yourself, you, you know, um, you look good. You look good to a lot of different people. You're single. Your heart chakra is closed off to love. You're, you're weary of new love, right? And it's almost like some, some of you feel like, well, I might as well go back to the devil I do know in the past. And you could even be a little bit, for some of you, nostalgic. Or you could be in a place of abundance. And you want to share that with someone that you know, that you used to love. And because you're already weary of new love, you're not sure about new people, new love. You know, you, you feel like it's going to be the same thing over again. Okay. So, um... Well, let's talk about the past person, Lord God. All right, let's see. The past person. How does the past person feel about Aquarius? How does the past... Ooh. Okay, so that flipped out. The Wheel of Fortune. So they feel like you're the one. When they first met you, they felt like you were the one. That They would never tell you, though. This is a masculine energy. They felt like they, it was serendipitous. You guys met for a reason. They felt like you're a soulmate. They felt like you unlocked or you unveiled to them new ways of, of loving, of being with one another, um, a new social circle. Maybe you even like uh, enhance their psychic abilities. Maybe you guys connect through telekinesis or maybe you talk to each other and you're not in the same vicinity. Um, this person felt like you brought a lot of, uh, a lot of different, you know, a lot of different, differentness, not even a word, but, a, a, a lot of difference to their life. You, you brought a lot of um, what they weren't used to, what they didn't know existed, okay? Maybe even love here. You turned something over for them. You broke through. They had this major barrier up because the tens are about break, like a breakdown, so you had to break through. So you, you broke down their barrier and they had to break, you know, you broke through to their heart, all right? Let's see how Aquarius feels about um, their person. How does Aquarius feel about this person, about this past person? All right. Ooh. 
Okay, so Queen of Wands, you feel like this person is loose sexually. She's typically the queen with her legs open, which talks about sex. You can go look it up. Um, she's sultry, she's seductive, she's sexy. Maybe you feel like this person is just kind of, um, you know, they're out there. They do what they want with their body, with whomever. Um, they're all about the chase. Uh, they, they attract a lot of energy. They're attractive, especially if it's a feminine energy. And the feminine energy doesn't mean that it has to be a man. Um, but uh, you feel like this person is just, you know, if it's shiny and it glitters, they go with it. You know, um, you feel like they're unsettled in themselves. They're unsettled in their uh, sacral chakra, in their uh, sexuality. Um, you, okay, I heard some of you feel like they're fluid in their sexuality. Okay. What do we have coming for the for love for the Aquarius in the near future? What do we have for love in the near future for the Aquarius? Woo, the Emperor, baby. You got a husband coming. You got somebody who is husband material, husband quality. That's for the near future. You got somebody who's solid, stable, grounded, has done a lot, maybe even made a lot of money, made a lot of good choices in terms of the, the material in, in life, could be older. You got somebody who, you know, um, could be a good match. You got somebody who could be a good match if you can get past the disappointment of this past relationship. So let's see about where Aquarius is now. Because we had Aquarius turning their head backwards and forward. Whoa, you're at the Wheel of Fortune too. So your person was at the Wheel of Fortune in regards to you. And you're at the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe you could be changing your mind. You could be meeting the one. You could be wanting to meet the one. You could want, want to meet someone new. Yeah, three of swords. You're changing your mind about this heartbreak, this heartache. About third party situations. It, 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 something is not. Yeah, okay. So right now you're understanding that maybe you were put in a situation where you weren't going to win with the five of swords. You didn't get what you wanted. It wasn't set up for you to win this. This was a test, this was a trial. This person, you know, a lot of manipulation, a lot of games, a lot of, you know, backwards and forwards. Um, yes, they are a soulmate, but they came into your life to show you something. They put you in like in the eight of swords type of energy where you felt like you needed recovery. You needed someone to pull you out of. You, they put you in a hole in terms of your emotions, okay? Um, but you'd be changing your mind in regards to this person, in regards to this relationship. They put you in a love affair. They didn't even give you a title. You know, they got you for cheap. You know, they didn't even promise you girlfriend, boyfriend status. Or maybe they did, but it meant nothing. It was just in word. And some of you could be changing your mind about this. You're done. You're over it. It is what it is. You, you, you're the defeat you're letting it rest with you and you're done you didn't get what you wanted it's okay you're okay with it let's see where your person is in regards to you right now how does aquarius person feel about them right now what action will they take the king of cups so they're in love with you. They have love for you, but their love is plural, okay? It's for more than one person. It's not a singular love devotion, you know, and they're controlling their emotions that they have for you. This could even be out of pride, ego, not wanting you to know that you got to them, that you broke down that barrier, okay? Uh, what action will they take towards the Aquarius? This person could have other 
options, exes, they people hang around them, cling to them, and they cling to other people. Even if they're not having sex with all these other women or men, they still have access to, they still keep lines of communication open, all right? Let's see, what action will the Aquarius person take, the magician? So all they're gonna do is sit and think about you really, really intensely, uh, really, um, yeah, they're trying to manifest you. They're trying to get you to reach out to them, you know? Um, they're trying to bring something into fruition. They're trying to bring that energy to them. They're not trying to go to you. They're not extending anything. Why should Aquarius be looking forward to the future, this future emperor energy? Why should Aquarius be looking forward to this future energy? And, and if they do come towards you, this is like emotional manipulation right here. Like they'll you know say all the things that you want to hear promise you this tell you this tell you that they love you you look good bop 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 yeah the emperor in the near future whoa hold up hold up hold up wait up oh. Hey, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? You got the emperor and the empress that came. Spirit is really, when I was in meditation, said they said, hopefully your reading will give the Aquarius some clarity. This is why you should be looking forward to the future. The emperor and the empress. So this is real life, you know. This is um, in the 3D. You know, this could be made real. This is opportunity. This is also good karma. You're going to get a husband or a wife or somebody that you can be with because of the karma that you put out. You can get somebody a perfect match. Right. Because of the karma, the ten of wands. Because you just kept going. Also, you didn't know where this was going to lead you. This journey, this karmic journey with maybe this other person. But you know that it's over now. Whomever this is that's coming into your life is sexy. Whoa. And their wish fulfillment. I heard. Honest. They're going to bring a lot of clarity. The Ace of Swords. Okay. With the Nine of Cups. They could even bring a new usher in like a new lifestyle alteration for you you know two incomes are better than one you know right so maybe you'll live different with this person they could even ask you to move or move with them or make some move with the knight of wands coming out they could be very attractive sexy too i heard a silver fox this person got a bag because the strength card coming out other person's money they may even ask you to like sign a prenuptial agreement or this is a this is big money like you know this person has a lot to offer you they came up as the emperor they're gonna be very you know determined generous with you because they see you as the one they see you as the person that they can retreat with let their hair down they see you as sexy seduct you know seductress wise I heard wise beyond your years with the high priestess showing up. You not they see you as chase. Oh you gonna make this person change their tune. This person got they have money, they have power, they have prestige. They typically get typically get what they want. But with you, they, they're going to have to change their tune. This is a wife because you came out as the empress and they're going to have to see that. And then they change their tune. Wow. Change came right out. Wow. Wow. Yeah. They changed their tune in regards to how they date you or court you. Whoever this person is in the near future. Because um, you may have been celibate for a while. 
right? Then just not even gonna be used to your energy, They're used to a woman or a man like you. They're just not gonna be used to it. If you're a man, then just reverse this. You're gonna be used to getting what you want. Maybe you're handsome, you're outgoing, maybe you got a lot going for you, maybe you got money. Women just throw themselves at you, but you're gonna meet a woman where you're gonna have, she's chaste, like she's um, high vibrational. She is divine feminine, if you will. She is the high priestess. Um, she understands her power. And so she's not this freely, easily given it out. She understands, you know, tying herself to somebody sexually. So you might have to work for this. It's going to be easy to be with this person, though. If you're a man, you could be like, hold on, she don't want to have sex with me fast, but, and I'm mad about it a little bit, but I also like this person and she's easy to be with. And maybe that's how some of the, these guys are going to feel about you, ladies. This person is going to unlock the fact that you, so like you're going to be able to be vulnerable with this new person. This new love. It's everything that you prayed for, that you hoped, wished, and prayed for. Marriage, baby, house, new life. They're going to be giving. They may even show their affection by way of giving. Giving you money, buying you things, whatever they can afford. Everybody's going to be on a different level. They may, they're going to be very determined to get you or to keep you see what they're going to be doing in the beginning is thinking that you're like the other women because they have money they have because they have things they can just get anything from you they can treat you any type of way or they can just put you in line you know you're like the other women but then they're going to see that you are the line you know you you are the standard and then they begin to date you differently they're going to be a little bit apprehensive about commitment at first. But if they can get past themselves and the ego, they'll see initially the two cards that came out that you are their wife, you are their partner, you are their husband. You know? What kind of opposition can the Aquarius expect in the near future? Because there's going to be some opposition. What kind of opposition? And where is it coming from? What kind of opposition can the Aquarius expect? Other women and somebody that you left out in the cold. So people will be jealous of the, your lifestyle, you, the way you're living. It's going to be other women talking about you. Some people are going to be saying that you're a gold digger or something like that. Um, somebody that you that you ignored, not that you didn't acknowledge anymore, give any acknowledgement to, they're going to cause opposition here. Or they're going to be trying to have some type of fling or reunion with you just to mess up your life, mess up your love life. Yep, they're going to be trying to have sex with you. If you're married, they, they want to see if they can make you break your vows. Yeah, if you if you plan on getting married, they want to see, yep, they want to see you, they want to see the relationship in. But we came in reverse, ain't no ending. And this person can't get over you, whoever this is. It could be a Scorpio, it could be a Taurus, it could be a Leo, it could be anybody, though. Know? This person is going to try to be your friend or try to reconcile with you or say that, you know, we can still talk and, you know, whatever. They're definitely going to try to cause a lot of friction within your connection because they're going to see that you're happy and that you're well taken care of or, yeah, you're well taken care of with the Queen of Pentacles. 
it's gonna be some people that come in or they're gonna try to bring up your past. I don't know if you had like a sketchy past or um, maybe you were a little bit loose in the past. I don't know, these people could be trying to bring up your past to your new person. It says guard who you're dating. Um, everybody doesn't need to know initially. This person is going to treat you really well and other people are going to be so jealous of it. And this person that you left out in the cold will be trying very, very hard to get your attention. And they're going to feel like they missed the opportunity with you. And there's going to be other people, like this, then there'll be other people trying to bring up your past. Look at this. Look at what she used to do or look at what she, you know, her other marriage fail or whatever. Yeah, you're going to have people just hating all across the board and you're going to have your ex trying to come back and just break things down for you. But in your near future, you have somebody here. This ex person, they're not even, they're so prideful. They can't even see that they lost, that it's done, it's over. They're trying to manifest you back. Ooh. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're just manipulative. This person just want another cycle with you. The ex. They don't even want to give you anything. They want you to forget about the past. Yeah. They want you to stop meditating. You know... In, in staying to yourself and they don't want to miss this opportunity with you. They want you to let bygones be bygones, forget about the past, and um, let's get back together. But they're still going to be non-committal, keep options open, tell you what you want to hear, come to you just for sex, look for to you for sex. They may be manifesting off of your energy, because you bring a lot of positive vibration to them. Yep. When you're in their life, things are different, whether they tell you or not. All right, let's see. Yeah, this person, look, this fell out, and I didn't even shuffle. You deserve so much more than I am giving. I'm sorry. So this person is like, I already know that they, they could even be, um, having an affair with a coworker. They could be sleeping with a lot of people. Cause, and you know this because the energy that came out for you in regards to your per the ex person was the queen of wands. Like they just loose, they just do whatever. And again, they're, they're reaping the harvest from the seeds that they've sown, good or bad. That's, what, that's what's happening. And they want you to come back because you bring positive vibrations. So, you know, Things start to happen good for them, manifest good for them, or they feel like they can get through the day, or they can get through life when you're in their life. You know, it's a very selfish energy in regards to what you can do for me. It ain't about what I can do for you or we can do for each other, but definitely what you can do for me. You could be dealing with a psychopath. It keeps wanting to come out. Yeah, this person wanna, you know, in the near future, they may even try to you start, you know, they're going to try to take your position of power or importance illegally or by force. So they may even try to come in and really mess up your future energy, your future love. Look, they're overly sexual, overly aggressive. And they may have chose to give love to the wrong person and they need to face it and then fix it. Um, this is what you're going to be in the near future. Extremely happy. 
money came into your bank account, you got a job, you won the lottery, clean bill of health, received a promotion. Or this is you now, because you did come out as a nine of pentacles. Let's see, what else do we have to say? Aquarius, if this doesn't give you clarity in, returns of, in terms of, you know, the whole looking backwards and then looking forward, you're really going to have to make your mind up. Yeah, I knew it wanted to come out. It kept wanting to come out. You're dealing with a psychopath. They can function high in society. They got general good intelligence. They show anger and indi indignation when you question their integrity. When you say you're a liar, they get angry. You whatever. The spirit wants you to wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms twenty-seven, fourteen. So just wait because you got something really good coming. You should know. You'll know this person works or what they don't bring to the table because when they're around you or when they're in your life. Your money decreases. You need to take note of that. Money is energy. So if the energy of money, in, in which we all need that energy of money to live in this world. I, I know we got all these people out here. Oh, you're so worried about money. Okay, well, you take that to the bank. Anyway, um, when this person comes into your life and you find that money is stagnant or decreases or whatever you you need to take note of that that's the energy that they bring usurping they take in you know by force or illegally illegal doesn't mean that it's you know against the law of the land but it could be the law of, of energy they can just be you know doing energy work on you this one to come out to sex worker and then we had they have an, an affair with a worker so maybe they work at some like institution where sex is Number one, I don't know. Um, they could be a sex worker. N no shame here. Um, they could be having an affair. Somebody could be a sex worker. Uh, it's hard to trust these people because they're willing to exchange what is supposed to be precious for money. You know? Um, that means that they already devalue what is supposed to be precious. You cannot negate that fact. You cannot argue that fact. Just because these people decide to not value what is supposed to be precious um, doesn't mean that they're bad people. But let's just look at the fact of the matter. They do. They place no value on their body parts and their sexual organs and linking themselves with other people in terms of sexual activity or sex altogether. And that's okay if you choose to do that. There's no judgment here, but you cannot argue that you value your, what is supposed to be precious. You, you just don't because you, you're willing to trade it monetarily. So, be cautious about that because this person, these type of people don't value same. And if what you may value, right, Aquarius, and you, you kind of know that because you look at them as the Queen of Wands and you can go study Tarot. The Queen of Wands is the Queen of Sex. She's typically the one with her legs open, talks about sex, sexual activity, can even be you know, indicative of a promiscuous person. Not to say that your person is. I don't know everybody. Um, don't be offended at facts. Just, you know, try to argue a different one. Or I don't know. But, um, yeah, so somebody could be a sex worker. Um, it's going to be hard to pair a bond with these people, too, because they have, you know, they, they bond sexually with so many different people, person. Um, it just is. It's not that it can't ever happen. It's just that these people will need to go and work on themselves. And that's okay. We all need work on ourselves. But it's just, it's just very, very, very extremely hard to take 
this energy serious when they're actively doing it. Like you can't say, you know, um, I'm married to a, an exotic dancer, someone who does prostitution without there being a significant problem, insecurity, all of that, because we're human beings, okay? We're not robots. We can't just turn off the switch of, you know, whatever. Um, somebody's spending habits are outrageous. Somebody needs to get on a budget. Sometimes when spending habits are outrageous, it's because somebody's trying to get away from what is really going on presently. So maybe a person, maybe you, it, it was coming out for your person, their, their spending habits are outrageous. They also could be trying to woo other people, other women, other men, you know, trying to, you know, seduce them and make them feel as if they have more than, more than enough. So they could be spending really fast. Let's see. You always get this Aquarius. Um, okay. Okay. To whom much is given, much will be required. Luke 12, 48. So there's a lot being required of you. You may even be propelled, pushed to be more like to tap into your maturity because this person doesn't have any. And the condition of being successful or thriving, especially economic well-being, prosperity. So some of you just in a very prosperous time. You did first card out for you, nine of pentacles. So you're very prosperous at this time. And the cards want you to keep in mind in regards to people from the past coming back. Your money decreasing. Money is energy. You need to take note of that. And things start to become stagnant. You know, the... The God of, of the universe, great God, is not going to continue blessing you when you're with the wrong person. You know, so money may dry up until you can get rid of, right? Um, and be cautious of trying to bond with this energy because they got to do a lot of work. Not to say that they can't ever do, you know, bond with, but it's, it's, it's going to be tough, you know. So anyway, um, Aquarius the reading was about you gaining clarity about the past and the present and the future definitely the past and the future you got something very good coming in you got somebody who will court you correctly um they'll see your value um just by way of how you carry yourself because they're going to see that empress energy in you the empress energy and the high priestess energy in you and you got somebody of course all these people are going to come back and Maybe try to throw up your past in your new person's face or in your face. Then you got your past person trying to come back and just sabotage it for you. All right? They don't even have anything to offer. They just want to F it up for you. So keep looking forward. Do the work. Heal. Cry about it. Let it go. I think some of you already know this is what it is. Like the five, three of swords and the five of swords might put you in a situation where you know you just weren't going to win you know they didn't want you to win they didn't they didn't want what you wanted anyway um so this is what i have for you aquarius if it resonates go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy ella coffee link catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time you can uh, get your own personal reading at the website level make sure that you use coupon code 50 off 50 percent off all readings okay so take advantage of that and uh, what else what else i think that's all aquarius thank you many blessings to you take care